Hi everyone, welcome to this, I try to keep it short, webinar on essential oils for eco and body work. And this is more geared towards the, the people who already have some experience in body work. So whether you're a therapist, an equine therapist, um, or you are a competitive rider who knows a few things about body work for your own horses, how to help them uh, get into their best shape. But probably most of you who are listening to this um, are somewhat of a professional in the body work or horse wellness area. So just a few, few short words about me. And if we haven't met yet in person, it's not important, but just to let you know, to spare you some confusion. Um, this is me a few years back. I was a professional body work horses for many, many years. Uh, nowadays, I have natural gray hair. So I look a little bit different, but it's not important, but just to let you know. I worked mostly on reining horses here in Austria, not exclusively, but most of the competitive horses I um, supported were reining horses, quarter horses. Uh, I also work internationally. On the right, you can see a picture where I work on a horse who got reserve champion at the Calgary Stampede Cowboy Up Challenge that year. So I've been around. I've worked on amazing horses, really outstanding horses who did a great job, who traveled a lot, who had some injuries maybe along the way, um, who, yeah, who really were in the arena quite often. And I started to use essential oils, let me think, about six or seven years ago intensely. I've used essential oils before a little bit, but then I came across the company doTERRA. And let me tell you right away, I am only going to talk about doTERRA oils in this webinar because I have never found any other oil with a quality like that that's working so well that horses respond so well to also. So if you have other oils at home, you probably, I'm pretty sure you won't have the results that I'm talking about here in this webinar now. But yeah, after like six or seven years ago, I started to dive deep into this topic of essential oils with horses. I incorporated it into my body work. And in this webinar, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the oils and the issues that I found most beneficial. It's not a complete list, not at all, because every horse is different, every person is different. But now we're going to talk about oils that I found were, you know, pretty much a good fit for the issues I'm going to show you let's say 70 to 80%. So you, you'll be on the safe side using them for the things we're going to talk about. Anyway, let's get started right away. So if you do craniosacral work, acupressor, acupressure massage, probably also even acupuncture for those um, countries where it's allowed as a non-vet to do so. If you do classical sports massage, uh, some osteopathic chiropractic treatment or body work like the Masterson method. I'm also, I've, I've done mostly craniosacral work uh, or the Masterson method. If you're not familiar with the Masterson method, get the book and the DVD. Get both of it. Both is so amazing. It really changed my whole approach to working with horses, even all the other modalities that I used. It's so awesome. It's so easy to learn. I mean, you know, with, as with everything, it takes practice, but it will change your look on how you handle a horse as well for the better. And it's great for amateurs. You don't have to be experienced in any kind of body work. And yeah, I, I can't just praise it enough. Get the, the, the stuff you can, you can get from the Masters and Method books, the DVD. Um, they have clinics and weekend seminars all over the world these days. So try if you can get a spot in the weekend seminar. And trust me, even if you have been in what other, other kind of body work for a long time, you will learn so much during those seminars. Trust me, 100%. Okay, now enough praise for the Masters and Method, although I can't praise them enough. So... If we look at the pole, we're going to uh, look at three areas, the pole, the withers, and the sacrum or the sacroiliac joint during this webinar, and some emotional issues. 
So, but one of the areas that is 90%, probably 99%, uh, tends somehow uh, is the pole and the horses. So the highest point of the neck, like about the first and second vertebra, um, so right behind the ears. There are a multitude of reasons why, why the pole would be tense. Could be the riding style, you know, very, very collected, maybe too collected. Um, but this is not for us as body workers to judge most of the time. So just so you know, there are certain riding styles where you will probably run into um, pole issues that are more um, prominent than other riding styles. Pain in the feet will also show up in the pole most of the time. Uh, accidents, like whenever a horse breaks a halter because it sits back or it spooks, um, the pole need, well, has a lot of pressure that's been working on it. Uh, the teeth, of course, could also be a reason why the pole um, is blocked, is constricted, is tense. Of course, it makes total sense to work on the issues why the pole is starting to get tense. But right now we're going to focus on what can we do as a body worker to help relieve the tension in the pole. And there are two oils specifically that I find super helpful. First of all is the Aroma Touch blend by doTERRA. It's a blend of cypress, peppermint, marjoram, basil, grapefruit, and lavender. I like this blend because it also helps the lymphatic nodes to work more properly. Um, to help, you know, the lymphatic flow in the body. So, and there are lymph nodes underneath the pole or around the pole, actually, around the pole area. So, it makes total sense to use this blend on the pole. You can use it, I, I like to use it neat, just as it was, although there's grapefruit in it. And if you have, like, white horses or horses that are very sensitive, have very sensitive skin, you should maybe, you know, be a little bit careful of putting them uh, straight out into the sun after using this blend. You can always, always use, um, well, I would, I would use fractionate coconut oil, like a base oil to dilute the oils. But if it's possible, I find, especially in the pole area, I like to use the, the oils neat. So only, you know, one or two drops on each side of the pole. I massage it in and a lot of horses already will, you know, snort, will relax and you can tell they enjoy it. A good idea is always to let the horses sniff the oil and see how they react. Uh, if they're very tense, they will probably like this blend. So it feels, and if you use it on yourself, if you're a body worker, if you work with horses all day long, you are going to be tense and you need somebody to help you with your shoulders and your arms and your lower back probably. So there's also a great oil for yourself as a body worker. And then what well, I would do, it, I would apply the oil first and then do whatever work you were intending to do anyway. And you will probably experience that it's so much easier for you that the horses, you know, the whole body chemistry is already relaxing, it's already going into the right direction. So don't be surprised if suddenly it's so much easier for you to work on the pole. The second oil is a deep blue blend. This is a blend of wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, blue chamomile, and osmanthus. Those are a lot of oils who are, you know, having an analgesic effect, so it's um, for pain, for tension as well. And they're also replenishing for the tissues. So if there has been a lot of strain on the muscles, as I said, if there has been an accident, it's wonderful. Also, if you get kicked by a horse, use the deep blue right away. So before you bruise up, I mean, I've had um, the, the experience of getting kicked by one of my own horses once, uh, right above the knee and the knee was starting to swell really badly and I put the deep blue blend on and I could not believe how fast the swelling just disappeared. Because I was already worried that I might not be able to walk properly because it was getting so swollen. Uh, and I probably caught it just right in time. So this is an amazing oil for all those situations where there are bruises, um, you know, where the muscle just had to take much more than it was capable of doing. If you're talking about a serious injury, of course, you need veterinary support. But 
again, as I said, a bruise, um, too much strain, too much tension, this is a wonderful oil. Also, put it on first, then work on a horse. Sometimes it might be beneficial to uh, put it on again after you have been done because you have better circulation and you know you can give it an additional boost kind of. So now let's go to the withers. What could be a problem for the withers? Of course, saddle fit, um, shoulder issues, age, if the, the withers you have like kissing spine problems. I mean, again, there's a multitude of problems that, you, that could occur uh, in this area. It could be, I mean, any other body issue could show up, but those are a few that I thought are most relevant often. So here, of course, you can use the Aroma Touch and the Blue as well. I mean, those are interchangeable. But um, here you can also think about using lavender. It's very calming, relaxing. It also helps tissue to relax. So if there's a shoulder issue, maybe you want to think about using lavender on the withers. Um, also, if the withers, if the, the skin seems, you know, um, troubled because there has been bad saddle fit. So it's great for skin issues. Also, frankincense does a lot of the like a lot of similar things uh, as lavender, but it's a bit more restoring and supports healthy cellular cellular growth. So if the skin or the tissue has been damaged, say again because of bad saddle fit, um, I would actually combine both of them and use them. And it's, it's much, it goes much deeper than what you see on the surface. It's also calming. So horses that are very touchy in this area, um, it's also nice for them to have calming oil because it's, it's so, it works so calming on the whole area. So if they're really, really touchy, you have to, of course, to be careful, but try those oils. And might even, if you want to have them work more locally, because the oils just go straight right into the skin and um, they're circulating super fast through the whole body. But if you want to have an oil work more locally in like upper layers of the tissue, of the muscles, of the skin, it's a good idea to dilute them with some fractionated coconut oil to keep them there kind of. So this would be probably a case where you would combine, you would want to combine lavender and frankincense and put it onto the withers, especially, as I said, if saddle fit has been a problem, you see those white spots and you know, you know the withers have been rubbed pretty badly in, in the past. So here we're at the sacrum or the um, sacroiliac joint. You'll find, oh my God, so much tension back there. <laughs> Again, horses that are ridden competitively, uh, does not always have to be. I mean, a lot of competitive riders really work on um, the body of the horses. They're trying to keep them subtle and happy and healthy. But traveling and competitions, I mean, they take a strain out of the horse and the rider. So uh, reiners have, of course, issues back there through so their sliding stops because, I mean, there's all the muscles around the sacroiliac joint have to work a lot as the joint itself, even though most of the horses um, are kind of built for it, for it the quarter horses are from like the, the reining um, breeding lines. But accidents like slipping, if horses slip in the back, and again, reining horses who wear sliding plates, this happens regularly to them. If they have knee or stifle issues, you will find, oh, so much in the back. And there's actually one oil that I found most beneficial. Again, you can use all the other oils if it makes sense to you, but the Balance Blend, which is a blend of spruce, whole wood, frankincense, blue chamomile, again, osmanthus, uh, on a base of fractured coconut oil. Oh my God. It's so lovely, so, I mean, it's called the Grounding Blend, and that's, that's what you'll feel uh, yourself as well if you use it. And, you know, if you do like the Masters and Meta, Mesa, a bladder meridian, and you combine it with the, the balance blend, it will be a different experience for you and the horse. Because oftentimes, I mean, the horses mirror how we feel. And if we are grounded, the horse is so much calmer. And in the back, I can't really explain it, but this is a blend that works so well on almost every horse on, on the sacrum. I think it's because it 
I don't know, it just balances their whole system. I mean, the name tells you everything already. And they, it's somewhat, I, I know people who actually put a drop on the pole, the withers and the sacrum before they do any groundwork, lunge work, or even riding with them. And they tell me, you know, I can tell my horse is so much more subtle. It's so much more easily collected. Um, and that's what it does. So I find horses that are really stiff, who had a lot of trauma um, in, in, the, in the back area uh, around the sacrum, they respond so well to balance. This is one of the oils where I have to tell you, you need to try it to really believe it. Then of course, there are emotional issues like trauma, grief, shock, frustration, and frustration. I mean, horses can be frustrated, right? We all know this. Um, and there's, Oh my gosh, so many oils. I mean, every oil has an emotional benefit when we use it. But again, I want to boil it down to two specific oils. One of them is Ylang Ylang. I'm always so amazed how horses respond to Ylang Ylang. I mean, it's a flower. Uh, it's nothing that most of our European or even North American horses come across regularly. Uh, so I find it so interesting that they still respond so well to it uh, because it's so unknown to them actually. But this is an oil who's great for horses who are so hard on themselves. You know, competition horses who you know only show um, pain and discomfort when they're almost have a bone broken, and who have a trouble uh, relaxing. Horses that are you know the bosses in the herds and they, they never calm down. They always think they have to be on alert and you know, try to make other horses do certain things. They're um, oftentimes not showing any distress also, but you know, they might have ulcers or you know, those little things that boil underneath the surface. And I find it's great for horses as well who have trouble getting along with other horses. So it's and for us humans, it's great for opening the heart for others, to welcome others into our lives. It's, and again, to, not to be, to be so hard on ourselves. So if you're a competitive rider or you know a competitive rider, maybe this is also a great addition for them as well. I like to put this oil seriously on the sternum or on the heart area, but mostly on the front of the horse, or just let them sniff it. Sometimes only let them sniff out of the cap. Uh, the bottle cap. I have a video of a horse responding so obviously well to it. I also have a webinar where I talk about, you know, other oils like for digestion and breathing issues. It's a webinar about essential oils for horses in English as well. Let me know if you're interested. I can send you this as well. But yeah, this is a great emotions oil for horses. And then console. This is a blend specifically for grief and loss and I would also use it during or after weaning. Um, if, you know, a horse lost a buddy, um, you had to have um, so horses separated, a horse moved, whatever. I mean, there's so many things that can happen during a horse's life, right? That make them sad, that um, make them grieve. Maybe you don't have a lot of time for your horse at the moment. Then try console. I mean, I've, I haven't had a lot of people use it on horses, just a few, but I've had a lot of uh, dog owners use it on their dogs and they respond so well. I mean, from being really uh, almost dangerous dogs, like biting dogs, growling dogs that the trainer couldn't touch at all. And just after a week, just after diffusing console in the home, the dog changed behavior totally. Um, there are diffusers which bring the oils into the air, so they diffuse the oils as they already, you know, their, their name uh, explains. You can use a diffuser in a barn, but oftentimes the barns are so big that it, you know, can, you won't really smell it in some barns. I mean, horses have a great sense of smell, so it might be enough, but maybe you don't want the horse right next to the one you were trying to work with an oil, um, have the oils or use it or whatever. So you, you might want to be, you know, think about how you use it. I would put it onto the heart area, onto the sturman again for the horse, uh, the console in, in this case. Uh, but yeah, be, be creative with it. 
But those two oils for emotional issues like trauma and grief are amazing. Balance as well, as we already talked about that. Then just a very, very short overview. There are times where the handler or the owner or the writer or the body worker needs some help. And if you are tense, if you're grouchy, uh, if you've had a really bad day, you won't be able to do good work on a horse. We all know that, right? So if you need to calm down, maybe you've had you know, an unpleasant moment with an owner or rider before working on a horse and you need to calm down, uh, or you have been late and you are stressed, lavender, balance, and magnolia, it's another very calming oil. Oh, it smells so good are um, great oils for that. Thinker for the times when your brain is just everywhere and you have trouble concentrating, you have trouble being in the moment, doing the things. Could be great for riders um, who always forget what they were supposed to do, who have trouble during lessons to concentrate, uh, trouble during a competition to remember the courses, whatever. Steady is a wonderful oil um, to, well, as the name already tells you, to be steady, to be grounded. And Anchor, it's actually an oil out of a doTERRA yoga collection. But again, the name tells you all, it anchors you. It helps you, you know, to also stay grounded, to be in the moment, to be with yourself. I like to put it in the soles of my feet in the morning and to start the day that, um, that way. Could be great before you work on especially fidgety, difficult horses. So those are my suggestions and ideas. I'm here for you for any questions. There are wonderful, wonderful starter kits uh, for all of this. There is now, as I'm recording this, it's the end of June. There's a wonderful promo uh, going on right now for starter kits. You can uh, get basically three oils for free, which are here in Europe about I think it's over 70 euros worth of oils that you can get for free uh, with um, a starter kit. There's Aroma Touch and Balance included. So I'd be more than happy to help you figure out what's the best for you if you are interested in incorporating the oils into your body work. I'm there for you. Again, if you'd like to see the webinar of like the other issues for digestion and breathing and whatever with the horses as well, let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you. Thank you for listening and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.